me working at my desk at home. Oh no, it isn't. I'm going to make a video. It's the Heitzler Day. Heitzler Day, I think this is an interesting subject and in that you're on, you understand what I'm asking about it. So what I'm going to say is this. Okay, here's the issue. All right. Gödel proved um, that you need extra rule sets to prove arithmetic. It's not self-proving. That's a, that's a part. Now, this is no different than what the skeptics, and I believe is a good, solid, inductive uh, demonstration or proof that, of course, in logic, you're always going to need to make assumptions because that's how it works. You start with some things you take as true and you find out what's true because of them. Or if they're false, then the stuff is true or false because of them, right? You're always... So it looked like you would always have that. And Gödel kind of proved that for people that for thousands of years were holding out hope. No, in this set, this is a special set of rules. Okay. Now, what's interesting about Penrose's take is that the postmodern thing is like, oh, nothing's true then. Oh, you can't prove it from itself. Penrose's take is different. He's like, no. We, we understand the truth of math as it's, it's, and, and the fact that it ends up so useful and, and that you can make mathematical predictions about strange things like relativity and stuff and it comes out true and the mathematics helps. Penrose is saying, no, no, we do understand it. It's just that we need something besides these old school formal rules for understanding. Okay, so there's something out there, some physics. You could call it computation like you could call it quantum computation, but there's a fundamentally different from the first order type of rules. It takes some other sort of structure, and it's still going to be a mental structure when we discover it. For sure, we'll call it math and logic, right? But right now, it's something out there that we haven't comprehended, and he, his contribution to the argument is, is it doesn't matter that it's the word understanding per se, but just to identify a word that this understanding, we can use R to prove consequences of things, but the reason we believe it's true comes down to understand it. And it has been proved that that's outside of logic. Like I was saying, the ancient skeptical argument that, well, you always start from unproved principles, so you're always going to start from that. Every argument you work back, you're always going to have an unproved principle. And some people are like, no, there's certain principles that can prove themselves, right? But either way, it's like, yeah, there is always some other step there. And yet, we've made that step. We did not start from axioms. It's some holistic kind of thing. And again, this is where quantum computing is interesting. I could see why Penrose might think there might be an answer to this there. Because quantum computing, you can have this kind of trial, uh, uh, tr trial and error thing where, where you consider lots of cases at once. And you come up with heuristics and understandings that are difficult to analytically justify with simple logical propositions because they're really based on statistical mathematics. The mathematics of statistics and error, um, uh, the mathematics of, of error distributions. Right? So, anyway, cheers.